All right, I feel like a lot of people miss this item and I have been buying them and selling them for over a decade now. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in my cabin here, my Commonwealth cabin. And we always, at least it seems like almost every show, we go inside and we go into the old eBay cave and do some sales in there too. And we have another really strong day of sales. Seems like I say that every day, but it really is true. We have had just tremendous, really since the, be not quite the beginning of Q4 last year, uh, kind of into Q4 a little bit, but we have had great sales ever since. And we just keep going and going and going. And I know a lot of you out there have as well. A lot of you are running out of inventory. I see some people opening back up, Goodwill's opening back up around the country. And I saw something I haven't seen in a long time. I saw a garage sale sign or a yard sale sign out there not too far from our house. Anyway, we have some interesting items that have sold for sure. And I have an item or two in here that I haven't seen too many resellers, at least not on YouTube, sell. I know people sell them because I sell them all the time and I see other people selling them on eBay as well. But I wanted to point out a couple of those items that some of you out there might not know. And of course, some of you will. So, And hopefully at the end of the video, maybe you guys can leave some comments of some typical items that you think you sell that nobody else sells, if you're willing to give away your secrets, that is. At any rate, thanks for joining us today, as you guys always do. And thank you so much for all the kindness, all the comments, all the thumbs ups, all the stuff that you guys do for me and my family. So let's take a look at what's sold. All right, I have already pulled a few items, but I am going to, I typically leave, that's not it, it's my plastic bag drawer. I typically leave a few items in here. I know we sold a lot of 10 games. Does that look like a lot of 10 games to you? I guess that's it. Let's see. Cincinnati picker drawer. I think it's in here. There it is. I know we have some more parts. This is a Connect 4 part I'm looking for here. There it is, I was in the wrong drawer. It is also in the Cincinnati picker drawer. All right, let's go back here and I just wanted to show, let's see, where is it? Michigan plates on both sides of this. And I also put the West Virginia plate right there. So we're finally starting to get some of these things all figured out. All right, this one I think is in the Arizona bin. I'm not sure, yep. I think it's the last one of these ties that we've sold lately. And my guess is that that's gonna be a viewer since I've talked about them so much. Watching a little bit, a lot of Josh. I don't know when you're gonna see this or when he's doing the giveaway. You'll probably see this the day of the giveaway, but he is giving away a Commonwealth Picker Mug on his Instagram account. There might be time, depending on when you see this, to go over there and enter. All right, it seems like we sell a remote every single day. This is the Onkyo. Every time I say Onkyo, it reminds me of Pete <laughs> over at Craigslist Hunter. I love when he says Onkyo. Anyway, this one sold for $9.95, free shipping, and it is in really good shape. And hey, I had a bunch of viewers tell me the other day about how to test remotes that I can't believe I've never heard anybody say before, and I'm so appreciative. And there are so many of you out there that already knew this and were kind enough to tell me in a gentle way so so now i know maybe i'll put it on a few maybe i'll put it on the commonwealth flipper channel i'll make it an instructional video and of course i won't give anybody credit who gave me the information you can all have credit because there's about seven of you that told me that all right we had a viewer make two buys one of them is this right here it is six emperor tyrannus thus always to tyrants it is the symbol in the middle of the virginia state flag and it is the Commonwealth picker symbol that we used for a long, long time. We've tweaked it just a little bit, of course. I don't know if you knew this. Most of you, I'm sure, knew this. But it's the same center for the cup right there. Kind of gives a little bit of the history teacher in me and the picker in me at the same time. Which reminds me, by the way, and I had a lot of people comment. It was uh, Wednesday's video over on Commonwealth Flipper where I didn't have my hat on. And a lot of people were shocked that I wasn't bald. Uh, including John Cincinnati Picker. <laughs> He's like, you have hair. At any rate, I do have hair if you want to see it. if it, it shocks people a little bit, so you might not want to go over there. I know a lot of you, I have done it twice before, 
and a lot of you have commented before, I do have hair. So go over there and check that out. Wednesday's video on Commonwealth Flipper. Anyway, this one went to Keith, went to a viewer along with another item, and this one was $15.95 free shipping. And it came from the no garage sales, this one will have to do. That was two Wednesdays ago on the Commonwealth Flipper channel where we did a private pick. We called it the C word pick. And I'll give you an update on that one in just a second. All right, and the next one, so I can get it out here without knocking everything over. It says Schrade Cigar Box, and it kind of fooled me. <laughs> there you go, I'm dropping stuff again. Kind of fooled me at the garage sale I was at. It was entitled, Garage Sales and Pickers are a Match Made in Heaven. And if you go, I actually looked this one up because I wanted to see it again, and now I can't remember how much I paid for it. But I don't think I paid more than a couple bucks for this guy, maybe three. And it is actually a pocket knife and it was in a cigar box, and they're brand new and sealed. I've sold one already, and Keith grabbed this one as well, and Keith, we do appreciate it. I think you sent a message as well on the eBay messaging system. I don't see one here, and I appreciate your support. You are always commenting and always being kind to us, so thanks so much. We're going to send both of these your way. This was $29.95 plus shipping, and I'm curious because I don't know what it looks like inside, so Keith, when you get it, if you don't mind, if you're on Instagram, send me a picture on Instagram. If not, maybe you can send me one in an email. It's not that big a deal, but I am curious what it looks like inside. And if you want, I'll try to link that video. And I think 10 minutes into it is where you'll find me buying that item. So you can go check it out. That item on the C Word sale brings us from $70 to $178. So $108 profit so far. And we still have a pretty decent amount of stuff left to go with that. All right, this is an item. I used to part out this item all the time, and now I kind of avoid it. I almost said avoid it like the plague, but that's probably not uh, the best thing to say right now. At any rate, this is an auger from an Auster Kitchen Center machine. The old ones, I think they're like green. There's a couple different colors, but you probably know what I'm talking about. They're mixers and they have a little turntable and they've got the little arm that comes off. There's all kinds of different parts, but there's a meat grinder that goes with it. And you can take the meat grinder apart and there's like four different parts you can sell. This auger usually goes for right around $10. I think I listed mine for 9 free shipping, so I'm not making a bunch of money on it. But I've kind of gotten away from these. They're big and they're bulky and they're heavy, and the money you make on them isn't really that great, so I'm not terribly interested in finding these. But I made a mistake. I was at a sale probably about 10 months ago now on a Friday morning, and I had found some really good stuff, and I saw one of those sitting there, and I'm like, I'm not going to mess with it. And I asked them, like, how much you want for it? They're like five bucks, and I'm like, ugh. And I hemmed and I hawed and I said, no, you know, I'm just not going to do it. And as I was leaving, they said, hey, just take it. <laughs> we don't want it. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'll take it. So I ended up grabbing it and taking it home and it sat in my death pile forever. And I finally took it apart. And there are some parts in there you can definitely sell, but there's a couple of parts that are kind of long tail. I think I've listed all of them at this point and I just did it last week. And this was the first to sell, $8.99 free shipping. I occasionally mention my brother, and he works with uh, Major League Baseball in some capacity, and occasionally he comes around this area, and I go to visit him, and sometimes his son as well, and I'm able to do some garage sailing if I go on a Saturday, or sometimes they'll go with me, and that was the case here. I remember buying these with him, and this was great because it was a dollar for a box of these No Moths, these No Moth refill packs. And these things sell pretty darn good. So to pay a dollar for these and to sell it for 35, I was pretty happy. I did free shipping on this, which is not something I would typically do. But when you have something like this that you absolutely know you can fit in at the very worst, a medium flat rate box, but you can definitely fit into a region A box, I feel like my shipping costs are going to be somewhat limited. So I went and did it to make sure I could sell these fairly quick. So it sold for $35 free shipping, and we'll end up making probably close after fees and shipping close to $20 profit on them. Looks like I forgot to grab one of these, and this is one of the vintage clothes that my wife has been selling, the Sunny Share sale. Is this the one? I think it is. I think it had orange and red. Is that orange and red? It's definitely orange. Pretty sure that's the one. This guy right here sold for $34.95 plus shipping. The pants seem to be the big sellers. She has listed the pants usually for $10 more than anything else. So handmade pair of pants. It's got a slight flare, but not exactly bell bottoms. Actually, it doesn't even look like it has much of a flare to it at all. $34.95 plus shipping, and it is part of the Sunny Shares sale. So it should be around a $25 profit to split between the two of us. 
And so I have to add that to here. So that'll bring us to $645 so far on the Sunny Share sale. And I just paid him half of that, or half of last month's, I should say. So it's less than that. Um, and I paid him that uh, a few days ago. So $645 so far, Sonny. Pretty good deal. I just took a lot of some of the non-desirable Nintendo DS games. Fashion Manager, Nintendogs, and what else? Build-A-Bear, Tower Defense. Some, some not really great named DS games. And put them in a lot. Put them together and they sold really quick. They sold for $19.95 plus shipping. All right, this Founding Fathers ties for, it's Glenn Beck had a bunch of merchandise he was selling and apparently couldn't sell it all. And Goodwill ended up with it and we bought a ton of it and it has slowly sold, but it has sold. And I'm not, I'm not regretting those buys at all. A bunch of Christmas CDs and Christmas books and some other books, they're autographed and numbered. Um, they're not big sellers, but they tend to sell occasionally and the ties have sold occasionally and have finally sold out. By the way, a viewer asked me about these bags, these tie bags, and I have absolutely no idea where where you could pick these up. I didn't buy these, the, the ties all came in these bags. So if anybody knows out there in the comments where you would get a tie bag like this, leave it in the video and whoever that viewer was that asked, you can look down there. And if I know the answer to it, maybe somebody can tell me and I'll put it on the Friday Q&A videos on Commonwealth Flipper. At any rate, this one did get bought by a viewer, and he says, I'm a faithful watcher of your YouTube videos, and I heard you say that this was the last one, so I thought I had to get it. I used to teach civics. Last year, they moved me to alternative education at my middle school. I just found out they wanted me back in social studies. I'll be teaching the first part of U.S. history next year. I'm also a reseller, and my four kids are helping me out as well. I've learned a lot from your channel. May God bless you for all you have done for us and for your family. So thank you very much, John. That is very much appreciated. And I can't wait to get this off to you. And let me tell you, I don't wear a tie in school. Do you wear a tie in school? Are you going to wear this to class? I could see as a civics teacher wearing that to class for sure. So John, thank you so much. We do appreciate it. All right, I feel like a lot of people miss this item, and I have been buying them and selling them for over a decade now, and I think they're pretty good. They're really heavy. Anybody know what it is here? It is a Malibu timer, and they sell, they inevitably sell this time of year every single year. People want to keep things watered while they're off on vacation, and this one looks like it is in perfect condition. Plugged it in, it's humming along pretty good, so I don't know. I haven't fully tested this thing. But I would be shocked if it doesn't fully work because it's in great shape and just my little rudimentary test worked really well and it's clean. I picked this up at the Joyous Junk Sale last year and that's a high priced sale. It's up by Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia at a Catholic church. At this point, I think it's canceled, but with things starting to ramp up again, they may just push it back a little bit. I hope so because it's for a great cause and they have tons and tons of stuff, even though the prices are a little high. But not on this one. I only paid three bucks for it. I oftentimes come across these and, and pay a buck for them. This one sold for $32.95 plus shipping. I think I probably could have put $34.95 on it and sold it fairly quickly as well. This took a couple of days to sell. I see these on there not sold as high as like $50 plus shipping. Some do $50 free shipping. I decided to do $32.95 plus shipping and give a really good deal to somebody who lives near me to get it sold and I'm going to make roughly the same amount of money. By the way, model number ML121RT. This is what it looks like in the back. And if you see the Malibu brand especially, pick them up. All right, I'm always shocked when this thing sells. It, I've asked before what this thing is on Instagram. This is the second one I've sold in the last few months, and I don't think I have any more. This is a Connect 4 replacement lever. At the bottom of the Connect 4 board, you know, you push it this way and the chips fall out. <laughs> That's what this thing is. And I sold this from my kid's old set. I don't remember where they got a new set, but I sold it from their old set because they were missing some things or something broke. I can't remember exactly what the story is, but I sold it from their set. I also occasionally sell the checkers two by two. I have some serious problems. I'm not quite sure why I do all that. $6.81 free shipping. And I think at the time when I listed these, I was the only one listing them on eBay which ought to tell you a little bit of something about me. But it is a good strategy, not necessarily for this, because you're making next to no money on it, you know, three bucks max. But sometimes listing something that nobody else has listed, even if it's like, will this thing sell, will it not sell? If you're the only one on there, you only have to have one person in America 
or Canada or the world who might want it, and you might just sell it. All right, we got the homeschool hustlers. Turner, can you find Timon from Lion King? That's right. How about you, Reagan? Can you find the Nestle Quick Bunny? Yeah. That's right. I'll be honest, we cheated. We <laughs> cheated. We put them right there, didn't we? They yeah. were buried a little farther back. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Turner, tell me about Timon. What movie is he in? Uh, Lion King. Lion King. You like Timon? Mm -hmm. You like the Lion King? Mm -hmm. Your hair's a mess. Don't <laughs> yeah. tell don't tell yeah. mama. Yeah. Don't Reagan, don't tell mama. You're gonna tell my mommy, mommy, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. you are. Timon. Timon sold for $5.95 plus shipping. So it's still got the tag on it. It's in really good shape. So somebody got a real nice deal on this guy. And you guys are going to make a little bit of money. That's also something that heal. It kind of peeled off. Okay. A dollar to spend, a dollar to save, and a dollar to donate, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Reagan, what's that thing? Um, Nesquik. I don't know how you say it. It's the Nesquik Bunny. The Nesquik Bunny. That thing's cool. kind of cool. I didn't even know we had that. <laughs> This is from the plush, that's where it is. It's from the plush lot that I found in the backpack the other day. And Blue Ridge Mama confiscated them, I think, and took pictures. Even though Reagan normally would take pictures. You didn't take pictures of these, did you? Mm -mm. No, that means you're going to have to help me pack in a little bit. <laughs> Since you didn't take pictures. And Turner, I think you can help pack that guy. What do yeah. you think? I think so, too. And hey, one more thing sold. Guy Diamond. You like Guy Diamond? Yeah. Yep. I have him. Yeah. And that yeah, sold... And that one is going to a viewer. Actually, it's going to a viewer's daughter. All right, and this one is going to Harper. What do you think? Do you know somebody named Harper? Yeah. Yeah, that's your, what, second cousin? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a great name. I like that name. So Harper is getting this. Can y'all give Harper a shout out? Thank, Thank you, Harper. Harper. <laughs> and we like Guy Diamond. Squeeze that belly. <laughs> now didn't the second one just come out the second movie yeah, okay yeah. so they no, got that one though. no we don't have it yet we do we haven't watched it no we need to huh anyway those are going out so we had three plush sales today and i just saw something else sell out of the homeschool hustler store but we're going to talk about that one tomorrow all right yeah. thank you bye <laughs> see y'all all right, before I start here, I just wanted to give a giant thank you to Jane. And Jane, you have been a wonderful supporter of the program. You're always commenting, giving thumbs up, and giving encouraging words. And you did something that's very kind. It almost makes me feel bad. But I asked at one point, I said, does anybody have a Virginia plate with the Blue Ridge on it? And, you know, I call my wife Blue Ridge Mama, and I thought it would be neat to have one in there. And when I saw it, I'm like, that is so awesome that somebody sent me one. And then I read your note, and it was really, really nice. You know, I'm a little sentimental. I don't know if you get that about me. But I read that thing, and I was very touched by it. And I appreciate all the uh, local references and your connection to Virginia and in N and W Railroad and all of the specific places you mentioned. It really was kind of neat to read that message. So I do appreciate it. But then I read at the end that you went on eBay and purchased this thing. And that is very, very kind of you. I, I feel bad that you did that. But I do appreciate it so much. And we will find a wonderful place out there in the cabin where you can see it. Because it has those beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains that I love and my wife loves. She, my wife was born and raised right here where we live. Pretty close. Within like 20 minutes of right where we live. She's lived her whole life. Now I'm a Southern California boy. But this is my home now. So I appreciate it. And I thank you so much Jane for your kindness. Alright speaking of California. How about that segue? And look I didn't even plan it. Here is a San Francisco, a Bay Area postcard, like it's a collection. It's like a little booklet. You buy the booklet, and it's got a bunch of postcards in it, and it's got the crookedest street in the world with it as well, which is what? Lombard Street. I think one of my big regrets, now I lived in Southern California, is I never got to explore San Francisco and the Bay Area too much when I was younger. I think I've driven through a couple of times, been over the Golden Gate one time, certainly flown into it and out of it more than once, but I've never been able to stay there very long. Spent a lot of time in Northern California at the top, Eureka, Willow Creek area, and then I've spent my whole life in the Southern part of California. The middle part, my only connection, I was born in a little place called Hanford, California, which is a bit of a, well, it was a bit of a cow town. I don't think it is so much anymore. At any rate, it's kind of a cool little deal. It only sold for $5.99 free shipping, but I just couldn't re-donate it. Somebody had to have it out there. It's just a cool little set of postcards from the 1970s. I thought it was kind of neat. And you'll see on both sides, it's got Fisherman's Wharf. There's Cliff House at Seal Rocks. 
which is cool. And of course, Alcatraz, Union Square, Downtown Hotel, and then those old year-round street corner flower stands, which I remember from Southern California as well. At any rate, $5.99 free shipping. I'm only going to make a couple bucks, but I'm glad somebody gets to enjoy this. And looking at that name right there, is this a viewer? If it is, Thomas, we do appreciate it very much for your support. All right, I don't know if you can see this one or not right here. I think it's just hidden, but I'm sure you've seen it before. It is a Tinkerbell. Let's see. A little pixie dust goes a long way. Think I can get copyright strike for that one? You think? Sure. <laughs> and this one is really cool. It does have it now. This one I had to really look. You can't probably can't see it because of my lights. Actually, you can right there with her knee. There's like a crack in her knee. Now, I can't imagine how somebody would go into this thing and fix it later. It seems like a lot of trouble. So maybe there's something wrong with the construction of it. I'm not quite sure. But the rest of it's in really good shape. $14.95 plus shipping. We've had this one for a long time, but I finally sold. I guess people are missing Disney. You know, they can't go to Disney, so this is the closest they can get. All right, we got one going out to Diane here. And Diane, I think you left a message. Maybe it was in the messaging system, not on the actual purchase. And if I recall, you talked about your daughter a little bit, who is now an RN, a nurse, here in the uh, Commonwealth of Virginia. And I think that's the message. And, and you said some other things in there, some nice things. So we appreciate your support on the show. We appreciate you watching. We wish you the best of luck. And we wish your daughter well as well. And this one is going out to Joe. Really enjoy the channel. My wife and kids all enjoy watching and learning. Thanks so much, Joe. We appreciate it. And we hope he brings you some good luck. Now, I can't remember the sale I bought this at. I remember the sale. I just can't remember the name of the video where I bought it. It's not something I would go out looking for per se. Or maybe not even something I would buy at Goodwill. But sometimes I'll ask, I'll see a rack of clothes, and I'm like, how much are the clothes? And they said a buck. If they say a buck, I'm going to go look at the clothes. You know, if they say they're all individually priced or something, sometimes I might avoid it. Uh, it depends on what I'm finding, how much inventory I have. But if they say a buck, I'm going to go look through the stack of stuff. I've done that often and come out with something. I didn't find much in this rack, but I found this nice little Nike jacket. It's not new, but it's in great condition. And it's a size XL, and that's the kicker. XL seems to be a great size for this kind of stuff, and larges as well. But mediums and smalls are really long tail a lot of times. And it didn't sell for a ton, but it sold for $14.95 plus shipping. So at a dollar buy, we're going to make like $12, $13 profit on it. So even if you don't do clothes out there, this is the kind of stuff that pads my sales. You'll often see at least one piece of clothing. Oftentimes, you'll see two, three, four pieces of clothing even if we have like 20 some sales like we do today, clothing seems to pad it and we can get an extra 20 to $50 profit a day with clothing. That ends up being quite a bit of money at the end of the month. All right, this one is going out to Brandon and to his wife. Let me see if I can see the name. Brandon and Laura, treasure our finds for you. I think that's it. Uh, hello, Kevin. My wife and I are active part-time sellers in Southern California. My old stomping grounds. I grew up in a little place called Yucaipa, if you know where that is. If you're in Southern California, you've at least heard of it. It's not a big metropolis, but it's a little place at the base of the mountains right before you start headed out to the desert into Palm Springs. When I was a kid, we didn't have the money to do all this, but I knew people who would go skiing sometimes in the morning, and then afternoon they'd be at the beach. And of course, you had the hottest place in the world not too far over that mountain down there in uh, Death Valley. So... At any rate, you let me know where you guys are from. And they have a YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is SoCal Treasure Hunter. SoCal Treasure Hunter. So I can go on there and I can find out where you're from exactly. I have not looked that up and I'm going to check it out for you. Our plan was to launch content about three weeks into our garage sale season and still plan to do so. Not only are you a great speaker and communicator, but you always add that historical edge to your content. Can you please have Reagan sign the Enemad for us? Thanks, Brandon and Laura. So that's very kind of you. A lot of nice things in there. And we absolutely can get Reagan in here and autograph this thing for you. And we'll have it out your way. And I'm looking forward to checking out your channel. Let's see, what is it here? SoCal, two words, SoCal Treasure Hunter. I'll check it out. Thanks. All right, Nike sells. I mean, it just flat sells and Air Jordan stuff sells as well. This is kids. It is brand new. So kids are a little bit harder to sell than adults, of course, but it is brand new. It's $14.95 free shipping. And I picked it up, I think for a dollar. I remember the sale. It might have been $2. Either way, it's going to end up being about a six to seven, maybe $7.50 profit on this guy. Hey, last one going out to Sean. He says, great YouTube videos. I sell on eBay as well. He says, you all... <laughs> You all, you know, I guess you're not from the South. He didn't say y'all. 
Y'all sign for good luck. Thank you. So I will uh, I will do my best. So it's a little hard because Turner doesn't have the skill to kind of sign on this limited space. So usually Turner, if he's asked to sign something, he signs it right there. And then uh, Reagan and me and Blue Ridge Mama can sign it there. So we'll definitely do that, Sean. And thank you. And we hope he gets things moving out of your store for you. So thank you. And thanks again to everybody for all the likes, the comments, the thumbs up. And just the kind words in general, we appreciate you. And as always, we hope to see you next.